thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video welcome to my channel lovely moments creating my name is Jeannie and on this channel I create budget-friendly home decor that is easy to do in today's video I'm going to be doing some really quick and easy DIYs using some of the picture canvas um, frames from the Dollar Tree the Dollar Tree recently put out so many more designs in their collection and I absolutely love some of the pictures that I see but I always want to remix these <laughs> canvas frames. Now I seen these really pretty um, pictures that have the birds on them and I love the gold color of the leaves because it matches the color that's in my bedroom. Now for the first DIY I am going to remove the canvas from the wood frame and you can just take a staple removal I'm just using this little spatula I have to help pull the staple up and and I can use my other little tool to help pull the staples out if they become a little tough but this is just the way I do I'm trying to make sure that the wood stays intact and so because these can always be used as a part of a DIY as well which I'll be doing later on in today's video so this is how the canvas look after I removed it off the frame it's a little bit larger even though I'll be cutting mine down they are still a little larger if you wanted to mod podge these on top of some wood now what I'm going to be doing is um, removing this canvas from this frame as well because I do need another piece for this first DIY I'm going to be using one of these round bases from the Dollar Tree and what I'm pretty much going to be doing is first covering this vase so I'm just lining up this canvas to see how much I need to cut off because I do want to cut off the edges that had the staples in there and then I'll take another piece just to close up that gap so I'm folding it to see how much I want to cut off I'm just going to cut off where the um, canvas was folded around the frame and I'm just going to do the sides I'm going to keep the bottom two pieces and then I'm going to be using some hot glue to attach it you don't have to use a lot of hot glue around this base for this DIY so what I'm going to do is just take a line to connect that side and then I'm going to connect the other side. So I'm going to take the other canvas that I pulled off the frame and just cut a piece where the gold florals are. I do not want to cut that really pretty bird image because I do want to be able to use that for a future DIY. So I'm just cutting out to see how much I need and then I'm going to trim it down a little more and then I'll just be taking some hot glue to attach it. This DIY is so simple and so pretty and I think there you can find so many different prints on these cameras frames at the Dollar Tree and just remix them up a little bit to fit your decor. So I'm just pressing the edges down so that they can meet seamlessly and then what I'm going to do is push the top down. I'll go back and tack that down with some hot glue later but I want to get my back, I mean my bottom um, uh, tack down with some hot glue because I want to make sure that that is nice and flat so it will not interfere with my vase um, standing. So I'm going to add a little bit more hot glue and then I'm just going to turn it over and just tack this down so it won't be rolling up. So I'm just going to take a little glue here and there and then tack it down now I did grab one of those LED candles from the Dollar Tree because that's what I wanted to place in the inside and that's how this turned out it is so pretty I love the canvas over this glass because it gave it almost like a wax <laughs> look like it's an actual candle and I think this is so pretty and I styled it in my bedroom So I found two more really, really pretty <laughs> canvas frames that have these shoes and these little makeup items and purses on them. And since these DIYs are going to be styled in my bedroom, these were perfect because it has the colors that I have. And I'm styling them around like my self-care area where I um, 
have my makeup and perfumes and things so this was perfect i am removing the canvases from the wood frames just like i did in the previous diy those hooks that i remove i always keep those because i can always use those when i'm creating another sign i'll have those hooks and they're easy to add and so i am going to be using these two wood um frames after i remove these two canvas i'm going to be using these for this diy and i'm just remixing this up a little bit um, instead of the wood frame being on the inside i am going to put it on the outside but include another frame to double up i'm going to be using my white chalk paint and i do pick that up from walmart and i'm going to give both of these frames just one one really good coat i don't want to take away from this being wood but once it dries it dries into the cracks so you can still see that wood look and so i'm just going to go in giving it one good coat so we have made it halfway through the week i hope everyone has had a fantastic week so far i still can't believe we are in the last week of may time is definitely flying may has been very busy for me with the boys graduations um, Gentrell's birthday my mother's law birthday and the birth of my niece's son so yeah it's been busy but it's been fun and we are stepping into june and the second week of june is actually my wedding anniversary but we're not doing anything extravagant we are probably just going to go find a nice restaurant in downtown chicago so that'll be fun now that i have those both painted i'm just cutting around the edges of that um, first canvas and i'm going around all four edges just cutting it down to size so that i can attach it in between the two wood frames and so this is just a quick and easy way if you want if you find one of these pictures and dollar tree have so many beautiful ones that you like but you don't like um the canvas look i guess with it, the frame bit in the inside you can just take the frame off and put the frame on the outside and in this in this case i am putting um the frame in i'm putting the canvas in between the two frames so i just added the glue around the frame and then i'm just placing the picture right on top and then i'm going to add the other frame on top of that and this is just making my frame a little thicker it i feel like it makes it look a little nicer and that is going to be it for this i'm just going to press everything down and i am going to add this to my shelf and i think it looks perfect with the other decor This next canvas DIY is so simple. What I'm doing first is just folding it in half and then I'm going to glue down the edges where um, the staples were and just folding it so that those rough edges can be in the inside. This is so cute and you can choose, so you have so many options of really pretty canvas um, pictures from the Dollar Tree to make this DIY. I'm also going to fold in the sides and I'm just going to be taking some hot glue. I did realize I have to add a little more glue on the ends to make sure that it's nice and secure. So I'll just go back and add a little more glue as needed. And this is so simple, so pretty, and I'm actually going to be making some more as soon as I find some more canvases that I like. So now what I'm doing is going back and folding it in half, and I am going to um, close the sides. So this can be a really cute pouch to hold your sunglasses, and definitely since it has the cute little sunglass image on there, you can hold some things. You can actually take some Velcro and add it um, 
along the opening parts so this can close i think this is so pretty i'm going to add this in my bedroom where i keep my self-care items and i'm just going to throw some little items on there and style it and i think this is really really cute This next DIY is so simple. I found these really pretty cabinets with these beautiful florals. And I also found one with this really pretty lady here that had that same um, sort of floral in her hair. So I had to pick this one up. I actually did this DIY on a larger scale. I did a TikTok where I uh, connected like nine together and made a large wall art. But for this one, I'm just going to be attaching three now if you can find some canvases that are similar or pictures that you want to kind of merge together i think this is a really simple cute diy where you can make some large wall art all i'm doing is taking some hot glue along the sides to attach these i just thought this was so pretty i absolutely love these florals and when i seen the one with the lady and the floral in her hair i just had to attach these now you can take some popsicle sticks to add um along the frames for extra security i am using these tumbling blocks because i am going to be adding some command strips and i don't want it flush against the wall and i just think this is so pretty i styled it above my shelf where i kept some of my self-care items and the other diys from today's video and i absolutely love how this turned out this could be such a larger wall art if you added maybe six or like i said i did do one in the past where i added nine and i absolutely love how these diys turned out today thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video if you like this video please remember to give it thumbs up if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel because i would love to have you here as always in the comment section below let me know which one of these diys were your favorite and until next time my sweet friends stay safe so that i can see you in the next video